Hello and welcome to Carol the Builder. Today is time for the third tutorial in the series for Soviet Republic Workers and Resources Construction. I see that we have the same city or at least the same map from the previous tutorial and we need to build an asphalt plant. So let's do it. Again in miscellaneous and asphalt plant. We will build roads first, I imagine, then. For, if I remember correctly, good work, comrade. Let's not forget that. Asphalt didn't have any storage, right? It is produced and immediately have to be taken. Build a concrete plant. Yeah, this is the two most important things for building anything in this game. No, oh, and also we are very close to the people here. Perfect work, comrades. Build an aggregate loading station for road vehicles. This is interesting. What are we going to load? Maybe gravel, because we will need it for the concrete plant, right? Gravel and cement. Build a conveyor engine. What is the difference here? Ah, yes, yes, I remember. So the difference is where where the input and the outputs are. Yeah, now I remember. So this one has an input on the top and two out, three outputs in the bottom. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Connect buildings with a conveyor. Which ones? Ah, okay, that's the storage, the warehouse storage. Aggregate storage, yes, connect buildings with the conveyor. Questions and... Oh! That's pretty good if you have more questions. Okay, so, uh, which one? So we have output, input, connect. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Connect buildings with a conveyor. Which ones? Ah, the last ones. The last two. What is this? This is for gravel as well? Yeah, gravel and bitumen. Yeah. Connect buildings with a conveyor. More. Here? Yes. So, we will have... We will probably, from what I can see... Buy the gravel here. It's magically going to appear. And then we are going to bring it with the conveyor belt to both the asphalt plant and the concrete plant. Build a residential building for the concrete plant and the asphalt plant workers. But what about these people here? They're all going to the shopping center. Ah, not working, only shopping. Okay, let's build it. Excellent, Lenin would be proud. Build a bus stop. Perfect work. So, I guess then we are just going to bring them there. Purchase gravel for the large aggregate storage. I told you. Naturally, you can use your own resources, but for this tutorial, let's purchase it. The magical purchasing. So auto purchase selected will auto update the amount that you have set here. How much does it matter? Should I continue? Uh huh. Two hundred and forty-five tons. Seven rubles. Price for resource. Total with delivery. Oh. Oh, the delivery is expensive here. <laughs> oh my god, I guess it's in the center of the map or something like that. Is it? Yes, we are. So the further away from the customs you are, the magical delivery becomes more expensive. Purchase steel for the warehouse. Naturally, you can use your own resources. Yes, of course. Same thing, now magically steel is going to appear here. Purchase mechanical components for the covert warehouse. Okay. 
They are so expensive. That's one of the most expensive things in the game. You're doing great. Let's just bitumen for the asphalt plant. So that's the thing, in this game you can either produce all the resources yourself or you purchase them from custom houses and the game also allows you to magically transport them with some calculations, some algorithm to calculate how much that transportation would cost from the customs. And also if you click the auto, auto purchase for example over here, it's going to automatically uh, bring the, the level when you use the resource back to the level that you have set here. Purchase cement for the concrete plant. Good work. Build a construction office. The construction office is the main building for constructing buildings using resources. Ah yeah, that's a very, very important building. Here you can assign a construction or multiple constructions that you would like to build. And you can also assign source buildings for the resources needed for construction. So what's the idea here? Now, you have already seen construction magically building itself, but that's not the fun that this game offers, or at least not in more realistic uh, terms. So instead, you have like a management building, which is the construction office. Construction office has, it's like a uh, operation management of the construction, has like construction buildings and manages the whole system, basically where the resources for the construction come from, has warehouses the uh, vehicles that are going to take those resources to the construction site, plus the vehicles that are going to execute the construction itself and kind of manages that for you, which is great in a micromanaged game like this one. Assign the required building to the construction office. What are we going to... Aha! Uh -huh. This one? Ah, this is to... get the workers. Okay, so here you will see a list of um, different resources. Workers are resourced, as you can imagine. And you can assign the buildings where the construction office as a management building are going to try to pull those resources for the construction that you want to build. Assign the required building to the construction. So this is going to now in gravel we are going to we have nothing assigned but when we click here we are going to have this um, aggregate uh, truck aggregate loading assigned. So the trucks from the construction office are going to come here and they're going to pick up the gravel and bring it to the construction that you want to build. Same goes for asphalt, that's when you build roads, that's for concrete, for pretty much all the construction. You have, this is going to now pop multiple things, you will see, so we have, I think, steel bricks, prefabs and boards, all of them, yes, exactly. And this warehouse here, the closed one, would be for mechanical components and electrical components. Perfect work. So the idea of this is that you also don't want to um, have them super far away because that's going to extend the travel times of the buildings that are part of the construction office, of the vehicles that are part of the construction office itself. Okay, plan a road. In this mode, you can freely plan and delete roads or other infrastructure. So, so far we have been, for example, building a road extending a road and it magically starts constructing it but with build from resources when we do this instead of rubles or dollars we are just going to plan it like this it's going to become white now you're doing great comrade and that's just a plan now the construction is just planned and it's not even started yet so it says start the construction of the road after everything looks as you want you can start the construction Start construction of plant infrastructure. So you can click this and it automatically is going to start it. Or I think... No, I don't think anything. Because nothing is assigned. So now, from a plan it becomes a construction site. But we cannot construct nothing yet because we have no vehicles that are going to execute the construction itself. 
So, as you can see here, for road construction you need a dumper truck, an excavator, a bulldozer, a roller and a paver. So you basically need absolutely everything that a normal realistic construction needs. With this setup you can build roads even without workers. That's correct, I guess. Eventually, if any mechanisms are missing, you can use buses to bring in workers to replace them. So you either buy the mechanisms which are expensive and require fuel most of the time, or you can bring workers, but that's a slower construction uh, process than using the mechanisms. So now we're going to buy them with robots. Also, it's very nice that the, now it tells you what you're missing, because I don't think it was before when I last played it. So we need this for passengers. I think we will have to buy a dumper, yes of course, and we need to also buy bulldozer and paver, roller, and I think they're going to automatically start as you can see, they're coming out of the building one by one when they are needed by the way because in the beginning you will need the this is the bulldozer right yes it's going to bulldoze the road that's like the first stage so let's see what we have construction has stopped no workers or mechanisms that's cute maybe now that it comes it's going to say that it already uh, moving missing resource gravel yeah because there is the gravel you see, this guy is managed, as you can see, we didn't add it like before, any stations, any lines, anything. It's part of the construction office and the construction office gives it orders. So this says, working for construction city construction office. And now it's going to, here you can see the steps, load, unload, and then go back to the construction office to do nothing after it loads all the gravel that we need here, which is... So we currently have 8 point... Resources needed to finish current phase. 95 work days, that's workers. 19 tons of gravel. And this is for the entire construction. So we, here you have the current phase and here you have the, the full construction. And here you can also see uh, which construction office is assigned to the construction and all related vehicles. It's super cool because uh, it gives you all the information that you need to micromanage everything. Ah, you can also give priorities and you can get a notification when this is finished. Okay, so let's continue. Build a mud road. Mud roads do not require construction office to be built. However, vehicle speed is limited on these roads, so you should use them when you need your vehicles to move. At you shouldn't use them when you need your vehicles to move at their full speed. So this is the road that you will start in realistic mode because you need vehicles to go places but you don't have anything to construct them yet. And they are very slow, like 50%, maybe even lower of the maximum speed. Build a residential building using resources. Let's do this. Uh, didn't click on the correct one, I guess. You're doing great, comrades. So now through the mud road, all the vehicles will be able to access the... Uh, building so the mud road doesn't need construction as you uh, saw already but it can be used by vehicles nonetheless purchase the required vehicles for the construction office for buildings you need the open hull truck to deliver resources like panels you will also need buses to deliver workers to the construction site i think i already bought the bus trains can speed up construction but they don't replace the need of for main power they, on they only provide a speed bonus yeah but the speed bonus i think is pretty good so I think we should build them. Ah, of course we need concrete mixer, obviously. You're doing great. An excavator, of course, we need to pick. And an open hull for... what is this? Steel boards. And that's it, I guess, for this one. Okay, and I think we are also going to buy a crane. There we go. And here you can see how many slots you have available for this construction office is 12. I think that's the smallest, if I'm not mistaken. That's all for this tutorial. Okay, let's check out. So here we are moving forward. 
we have brought all the gravel that we need to bring for the construction and the only thing that we need now is work days so if i speed this up you will see we are currently laying gravel that's the current phase and then laying asphalt is 102 days and then what is the last one that needs 50 more i do not know but now we are going to start bringing the asphalt from what i can see because i don't think we have brought it yet yeah this one you see this one is now going to bring the asphalt there we go got eight and a half out of ten i think the construction office manages the amount here oh no this one is actually going for the building it seems oh and this is all the people working oh i don't remember these animations from before that's so cool man okay what what, what about this construction let's see resources now we are doing groundworks yeah so the excavator is here and we need a little bit more gravel and a little more work base okay for the entire construction we need more gravel prefab panels don't forget this is the soviet union everything is built with prefab panels <laughs> panelka as they are known by people in eastern europe and we need some steel as well 7.7 .7 tons of steel that's a lot of work days man max number of workers outside construction office i don't know what the difference between these two is over i ah, we can also see the over progress that's awesome we need more gravel just a little bit more honestly we can speed this up i guess by buying one more of these trucks here uh which one was it open covered hole no not covered it's open hole right yeah a big one why not are we still in the groundworks we're still at groundworks we need a little bit more gravel curious where the truck is why is it not bringing me the gravel? Interesting stuff. That's it. That's the vehicle. Or oh, was this one? Maybe I need to buy one more of those. <laughs> Yeah, probably because it's bringing a ton of asphalt to the other construction and I don't have... Let's see... Uh... Dumper. Does it matter? Let's buy this one, I don't care. No, it's not going any... Ah, there you go. So now it's going to bring me the... The gravel that I need. So now you understand why you need the construction office's uh, management to be good. Because you don't want your construction to be slowed down by lack of vehicles for example like in this case we needed uh, just a little more asphalt and a little more concrete maybe i could have increased the priority and then we would have seen it uh, going faster you see 0 0.68 tons so 680 kilograms of gravel there you go installing prefab panels and that's it now step by step this construction is going to be finished then you will have a new building here ah and now the crane is here as well speeding things up i guess that probably just lowers the work days that's what i imagine it's doing and even if you click here you can see even more um, details about your construction office it's very cool very cool the construction in this game and this is where i will end this tutorial if you think it was useful help others find it by liking the video in case you have any questions let me know in the comment section or check the playlist the link is in the description of the video stay tuned for the next one 
by subscribing to the channel. As always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.